Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Malika, and today, inshallah, I shall be continuing my series on the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today, we will be looking at the name Al Musawwir, which means the fashioner. So, the word root in Arabic has three main meanings. So, the first is to make something incline, lean, or bend towards. The second is to form, fashion, sculpt, imagine, or picture something. And the third is to have an inclination or desire towards something. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name as the fashioner is talking about how he designs the entirety of the universe and the heavens and how it's all according to his design. He is the one who sculpted it, who formed it. He fashioned everything that we ever see or will see, everything that exists is all fashioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to his design. And I'm going to share with you a verse from the Holy Quran. So this is from Surah Al-Baqarah verse 29 and it says, He it is who has created for you all that is on earth and has applied his designs to the heavens and fashioned them into seven heavens and he alone has full knowledge of everything. So subhanAllah, that beautiful verse is talking about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the sole designer. He is the only one who has designed everything. He had no assistance, nobody else, you know, helped him create it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the sole, the one designer who designed and formed everything, like he says, in the heavens and in the earth, absolutely everything was according to his design and he fashioned it and he has full knowledge of everything. So all the, all of his designs, everything he's created, it's for a purpose and he alone, he alone knows the purpose and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the consequences of everything. He knows how it will all turn out. So everything that he's designed, it's for a reason. It's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has the knowledge of it and he has created it for his own purposes. So I'm also going to share a hadith with you inshallah. So the hadith says, The Prophet peace be upon him has said that Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. And I just think that's such a beautiful hadith, alhamdulillah, because beauty is something that's so integral to the human experience. We as humans, we love beauty and we seek out beauty. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he also loves beauty. And he has, you know, he's created that need within us to seek out beauty ourselves. He is the one who created the beautiful things that we see. He is the one who created this joy in us when we see something beautiful. And when you really take the time to comprehend everything, like subhanAllah, like the stars in the sky, how pretty they are when they sparkle. And you see those like pictures from like space of like nebulas and everything all those beautiful colors just like swirling together and sparkling with the stars and that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and when you bring it down to like the more miniature things so you think of all the different species of birds and animals on this planet the different colors the different shapes how they all just work together and it's just absolutely subhanAllah it's beautiful and you have forests with the, the trees growing and the leaves growing out of it and it all looks perfect it all goes so perfect perfectly together, you have the mountains, you have rock formations, you have so many different things and they are beautiful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the one who's created that beauty and everything, all of it will pale in comparison to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty and inshallah, you know, we can only hope that one day we will have the honour of getting to witness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty, you know, that is, that is the, the greatest honour any of us could ever have bestowed upon us. So. SubhanAllah, that is something to truly strive for, to work hard for in this life because nothing we ever see, no matter how beautiful it is to us, it's nothing at all compared to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty. And, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has created all these beautiful things and he himself is more beautiful than even that. And he loves beauty and we should ourselves, we should strive for beauty in our own life, not just the physical beauty sense, but like the inner beauty of purifying our actions, purifying our deeds, making them beautiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Allah subhanahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves good, so we should be good, we should, you know, worship him by showing ourselves that we can be good, that we can do that for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for our Lord, and we should try and, you know, keep a clean house, keep things tidy, make things beautiful, you know, that, that is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves beauty, so we should try and put beauty into our lives and into other people's lives. So inshallah this video has been useful for you, jazakallah khair for watching, please give us a like, drop a comment down below about one of the beautiful things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created, and please subscribe to the channel for more Islamic videos in the future. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.